Hello and welcome to Good Morning Coffee. Morning Coffee, it's called. Not Good Morning I kind of like Good Morning Coffee. The only thing is today, for me, it's not morning. It's early evening. And instead of a coffee, I am making a shake. And it's not like I've never done this before, but it's been a while. So um, here's what I've done. I've got coconut water, I've got yogurt, I've got a banana, I've got some um, Vega protein with greens, and um, a little bit of maple syrup. So I'm going to try this, and this is just, uh, we're about to get into the whole upgrades thing in just a second, and uh, I'm doing this in my backyard of course. Turn this around so I can see it. That's good. Okay, here we go. On. I'm gonna flick this button. And let's go. Let her rip. Okay. Um, truly, only the blueberries have got to get demolished in there a little bit. So let's try this. See how it is, if it's any good. Looks good. Nice and purple. You know, so many drinks are green. Kind of ugly. But this is a beautiful purple. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Hmm. It's very good. It's very good. Hmm. I could definitely drink this every day. I hope it's good for me. Okay, here we go. We're about to get into upgrades. Come over here to my office with me. My office. I think I showed you how it got destroyed by the hailstorm a couple of days ago. But no problem, just lets in a little more light. It's lovely, look at the blue sky poking through. So, we're gonna talk a little bit more about upgrades. And we have talked about planning, we have talked about gratitude. I've added Gamify here. I'm not sure where exactly I wanna put this. Like it kind of works nicely under the G, but all the other ones are a single, um, word and this is another concept I kind of think I might be able to include it when I discuss urgency today okay and then uh, we talked about relax we talked about affirmation we haven't talked about distraction yet we talked about energy schedule and we haven't spoken of the secret yet so with respect with respect to urgency I I feel like I had this really cool insight. Like um, almost every is something going on with this camera. It looks so maybe it's dirty. Hold on. Is that better? I think so. Anyways, um, you know a lot of these systems that talk about goal achievement say, "What is your why? You need to have a why." And I agree, you know, especially when you're looking at your, your life, your planning for your, um, at the, you know, what do you want to accomplish in your life? You need to know what it is you want to do. And, and, and that is, you know, your why is inherent in that, you know, it's like you, you want to do something. It's like, you must, you must have some good reason for it. So I think, you know, figuring out that reason is great. But having said that, I find that for me, I don't find the why is alive enough in my everyday routines, my attempts to get things done. Mm. It's actually ridiculously good. I think I could have probably put a little bit less um, of the uh, maple syrup in there. It's really good, though. 
No sugar, just maple syrup. So, in my day, I it's hard for me to think of my big why and how it's relevant to I don't I always use getting the dishes done as an example. And so I think that there's a way of making my why more immediate. And what I've seen is when I when there's urgency to what I need to do, that's when of course everything gets done when it's down to the wire, right? So for me, urgency is really like priority. You can, you know, under the U for urgency, when you're looking at your planning for your day, you can go through what you've got written down in this, in this section here where you've got your day, your to-do list on the left, your schedule on the right. This is where on the right you've got 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, you know, right up to your evening. But in your to-do list, list on the you can circle what your high priority things. Again, it's super easy. I mean, maybe you want to put a one, two, and three, you know, priority one, priority two, priority three. And then, of course, you know, it's about ensuring that your high priority stuff gets done. But sometimes, even though you know it's a high priority, sometimes I found that those things are not, not getting done. And I was told to focus on the why. Why is this important to you? You know what? Wasn't really doing it for me. So I I found a way to sometimes pump up the why. It would be a little bit equivalent to sort of saying, you know, you know, you can kind of trick yourself and you say, oh, I got to be at the airport at 10 a.m. So you have to fool yourself into thinking you need to be there at 9 a.m. So you're shooting for 9 and for me, because of my history of often missing the mark, you know, my, whether it's a poor sense of timing or, you know, thinking you're going to hit green lights or all the way or that you, there's, you know, never going to be any traffic, you know, problems, not accounting for some of the factors. So if I fool myself and think and just schedule it all for nine, and then if I'm late, I'm still there before 10. So there's the, there's the working with the mind in a way that you can kind of trick it a little bit. You know, I, I always found that to be a trick. I was talking about um, what section was that? Like under, I always think of it as bite-sized pieces. That is under energy. I've categorized that under energy. So I always say... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go and do the dishes. I'm just going to take a look at them. I'm not going to, I'm not going up to clean up the entire room. That's too intimidating. I'm just going to go and take a look at it. So I'm, I'm playing with my mind a little bit and uh, it seems to work. So in the same sense, for urgency, there's ways to pump it up. And here's a really simple one. I don't know if you guys are going to like this or not, but you can say, for example, you know, like, I was struggling to read this book a friend gave me a few days ago. It's a great book, and I don't know why. I just couldn't get focused and was having, I was plodding through this so slowly. It's very good, though. It's all about goal, uh, goal achievement. And so finally I said, okay, I am going to read 40 pages in the next period of time, or... I am going to make a donation. I don't want to tell you what the organization is because politically you might have a different opinion. But basically to my most hated political, you know, um, person I can think of. Like, you know, every, all of us hate one or two politicians. It's like, I'm going to send their organization 20 bucks <laughs> if I don't get these, if I don't get these 40 pages read in the next two hours. And all of a sudden I found I had read, you know, um, 50 pages. Like, it, I mean, I was focused. I was in a Tim Hortons, uh, the coffee shops here in Canada. I was in one of their lineups. I'm reading my book. I'm every spare minute. I was on a bus at the time going to Montreal. So um, 
you know, I, I got super focused and I was kind of excited about that. It's like, man, that works. You know, there's a way to pump up the urgency factor. I mean, I do not, and I trust, you know, I, I've made it a, um, an amount that I will actually send. You know, if I said like, I'm going to give a hundred bucks or 200 bucks and I didn't make the deadline, I'm, I'd be like, screw that. I'm not going to give them 200 bucks, uh, you know. But it's an amount that I'm, I'm like I will do it, you know, just to kind of, honor, just to kind of honor myself and my goals and like you know I gave myself enough time and I made sure I gave myself enough time to do what I had to do, and all it is it, it got me to be laser focused. So I think there's a way understanding priorities, and then bringing a why into it that the mind really gets in the moment is super powerful. And I'll bet there's all kinds of gamifying things so that, you know, you can achieve your, you can, you know, pump up the um, urgency, urgency factor. And then the other thing I wanted to say about this, I read a wonderful book by Twyla Tharp called Creative Habits. The Creative Habit, I think it was called. And um, she talked about, you know, when she wakes up in the morning, she doesn't have to think like, you know, she was a, she was a famous choreographer in New York, um, like world fame, world class. And she's got to go down to the dance studio and she's practicing and she's training and whatever. And she says she's never in a position, and I'm really paraphrasing, but my the way I heard or read what she said was, I never have to think like, do I want to get up and go this morning? She's got a cab that is coming and it comes every working day to, you know, her place. It arrives there at 730 or whatever it was and it's going to pick her up. So when she wakes up, it's like the cab's coming. <laughs> you know, it's like it's a it's something that's regular every day and. It's not like she doesn't give herself the opportunity to have a choice in the matter. So um, I think there's lots to be said about urge, creating urgency and, and not creating a sense of panic. She's not panicking when she's, um, you know, the cab's coming. Like she knows it's coming. She just, she's on maybe even a little bit of automatic pilot. You know, get the coffee, get the toast, whatever she eats, get ready, have the shower and get dressed, makeup on, out the door, and there's the cab. You know, she's got it all timed out. And then she's at the dance studio. So, um, anyways, there's some ways of um, helping you to make things... We're, we're, it's all about dealing with this interesting machinery that we have, the mind, and sometimes emotions. And we're learning how to work with them rather than, rather than them running the show. You know, we're finding ways to take charge. So um, if there's a little bit of a game we need to play with ourselves to help manufacture the conditions we need, um, you know, I think there's a lot of things that we can come up with to make it playful fun, interesting, exciting, um, achieving our goals. So thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you soon.